Hi all, welcome back to the Law of Attraction podcast. If you don't know me already, my name is Laura and I am the founder of Law of Attraction Life Coaching. I specialize in depression and anxiety and helping people to become their best selves. I run a coaching group in Cardiff, one in Bristol, and I also coach clients one-to-one. Today, I wanted to talk to you about how you can actually change your life. Now, This is a big statement and it leaves people feeling overwhelmed with how much action they actually need to take. So I wanted to break it down for you a little bit and take this insurmountable task of changing your life and turning it into small daily goals that you can easily achieve. I'm also going to tell you a big secret about how to change your life that no one ever talks about. So stay tuned for that. Often people come to me as a client and they want to change really big things about their lives. You know, they want to become happier. They want to have more fulfilling relationships. They want to break through with their confidence issues or rid their lives of anxiety and depression. There are the reasons why they've not been able to do this on their own, but they're able to do it with me, is because I can see through the task at hand to find out exactly what it is that they need to do to reach their goal. Now, I've been working as a life coach for a little while, and prior to that, I gave free life coaching to everyone and anyone who met me. (laughs) For 15 years, I've been on a self-discovery journey. I've been to Buddhist meditation retreats. I've been on shamanic retreats. I've done journeying and soul retrievals with shamans. I've read thousands of books. I have been to hundreds of seminars, and I have listened to some of the greatest and most powerful speakers in the self-improvement field. And internally, the problem of trying to fix your life comes down to three important questions. You might want to get a pen. What do you want to achieve? How are you going to do it? And why do you want to do it? What I do with my clients is tease this information out of them with these three most important questions. You can use these three questions to ask yourself. You don't need me there, but the beauty of having me is that I'm your accountability buddy. I'm also an intuitive. I can see things that other people can't see, and I can pick up on things that other people don't. I read from my client's energy. Often clients come in to speak to me and I say, is it because of this? And they're a bit baffled because they haven't actually said anything to me yet. But it's because I can pick up on the energy of a person and find out what is wrong from the energy that they're emitting as opposed to the information that they're admitting. So how can you use these questions in your life to change your life? Well, the first thing that you need to do is sit down and work out what you want to do with your life. What is wrong with your life? What do you want to change? Where do you want to be? You need to think about these massive questions in detail because you can't set a goal if you don't know exactly where it is that you want to be moving. Now, as you all know, I practice law of attraction and the law of attraction is about knowing where you want to go and manifesting it. I think that the first part of this is really important because when you can see where you want to go, you can actually begin to manifest it. Now, whether this is some magical premise that the universe is helping us, that's what I believe that it is, or whether this is just because you've given yourself such straight vision and you're able to manifest it easier, frankly, I don't really care what it is. What I think is important is does it work? And I can honestly tell you that this process does work. So I want you to get creative. I want you to sit down with a piece of paper and I want you to imagine your ideal life. What do you look like in your ideal life? What kind of things are you doing in your ideal life? What things do you do on a daily basis when you're living your ideal life? You want to make that future tangible and then it will be able to come true. A huge amount of people drift through their lives like dead fish in a river, and this is really sad. I've spoken to quite a lot of people who haven't really achieved anything in their lives, and they certainly haven't achieved their goals. I say things like, you know, did you start with any goals? Did you know where you were heading to? And unfortunately, because they don't set any goals and they haven't really got any vision, they just kind of fall into jobs, they fall into their lives. Life happens to them. The reason why you're not happy in your life is because you haven't done life. 
You've allowed life to do you. Does that make sense? Listen to that again. You haven't done life. You have allowed life to do to you. You need to set goals. You need to understand where it is that you want to be, what you want to achieve, and you need to break those goals down into smaller, more manageable tasks. So say, for instance, you have a health goal. Lots of people have health goals these days. Say the beginning of 2019, most people say, I want to lose 30 pounds. They set this resolution and then nothing happens. They don't lose any weight. Maybe for a couple of days, they eat a few more vegetables. Maybe they avoid the chocolate, but then life happens. They eat things that they weren't planning to, they go on dates, they go out with their friends, they eat food and they don't lose any weight. The reason why they don't lose weight is because they haven't created a plan. They haven't looked at where they want to be, what they want to achieve and then how they're actually going to do that. And this part is so important. If you don't do that action, you are not going to achieve your goals. Now, the second part of these three questions is why. The why behind it is so important as well. If I ask this person, why do you want to lose 30 pounds? Most people would say, because I want to look good. I want to feel better. Now, that feels like a good why, but actually that why isn't big enough to stop people from doing the things like eating the chocolate when they're stressed or going out with friends. It's not enough to motivate you to get your butt off the sofa, go to the gym when it's dark and raining and when you're absolutely knackered. You need to come up with a why that's big enough to push you through willpower failure. Want to know a big secret that nobody ever tells you? Here you go. Are you ready? Are you listening? Willpower is a crock, guys. It's bogus. Nobody has the willpower to see them through their goals that are difficult to achieve. The reason why some people are able to achieve their goals and you haven't been able to achieve your goals yet is because you haven't found a why big enough behind it for you to be able to actually succeed. That is the key to you and your success. So what could be a why big enough for this example of wanting to lose 30 pounds? Well, as I said, saying that you want to be healthy and look good really doesn't cut the mustard. You need to drill it down to something more specific. So when you think about heart disease or diabetes and not being able to run around with your children at the weekend or wanting to get busted and you're not able to do the things that you want to do, like, or maybe something amazing, like you want to ride a horse or you want to go skydiving, but you can't because your weight's too high. These are the reasons why people would want to lose weight. And it's a why big enough for you to get your button gear. I would really recommend that you sit down and you think about why you want to achieve what you want to achieve. Often there's a really emotive reason right at the base of it. And when you get to that emotive reason, it gives you the push through to actually complete the thing that you want to complete. Finding a why big enough is so important because without it, life will push you to do things that you don't want to do. Whether it's eating the food or not going for a run or whether it's not going for the job that you want or setting up your business or even something major like staying in a toxic relationship. When your why is big enough, you stop turning your back on your dreams. You stop turning your back on your goals because you want it more than what you thought you did at the initial stage. Find out the why and you'll work out the how so you can achieve what you want. For the last part of the equation, it's how are you going to do what you want to do? Now, it's great training for you to break tasks into smaller, more manageable things and start setting SMART goals. Now, if you haven't heard of the SMART model before, that stands for that it's specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's realistic and it's time-based. You need to work out what you want and you need to create it in line with all of those parameters. 
You know, the beauty of working with me is that I find out what you want, I get your how, and I break it up into small manageable tasks that you have to check in with me that you've completed. I also give fantastic techniques to change your life. And people who work with me genuinely feel like they've changed their lives after the time that we've met. You can do this on your own. I mean, I did this on my own. This is where I've got my techniques from, but it did take me 15 years of trying various techniques to get myself out of the massive pit that I was in. And I'd like to be able to help people to do it in an easier way than I did it. So from here, you can listen to all the podcasts, get in touch if you've got any questions. Guys, please contact me. I'd love to hear from you. I want to answer your questions. I really want to create podcasts for you guys that you want to listen to. So get in touch, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you can see anything that new that comes up. Uh, and before I go, I wanted to let you guys know about a webinar that I am holding at the end of March. Now, this is a free webinar that you can access via Facebook. It's on March the 30th, which is a Saturday and it's at um, 4 p.m. GMT. Now I'm going to pop the link in the box um, below, so if you'd like to join the webinar, I'd love to see you there. Um, we're going to be talking about how you can change your life with positivity. We'll also be discussing some really great biohacks to change the way that your brain works and to mould you into a more positive person naturally, so it doesn't feel like something that you're having to do every day. This is stuff that works, it is life-changing, it is things that I have used to take myself from being somebody who is constantly depressed to being somebody who is completely joyful about 95% of the time, which is a huge change and if I can do it, then you can do it. And I will probably die a very happy old lady when I'm like ready, say 95, <laughs> if I can do that for you too. I'm really excited to see you then. So click the links below, uh, take the chance, come and meet me on Saturday the 30th of March from the comfort of your own home. So once again, guys, thank you so much for listening. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Please take care of yourselves until the time we meet again. I'm Laura from Law of Attraction Life Coaching and it was great to talk to you. Goodbye.